That's so stupid. All right, it is what it is. All right. And that's just, that's where that, I did not even see that in the update. Usually if you kill the last uh, champion, you're able to move up the hill, but apparently you're not anymore. Oh, that's pretty crazy.
These guys like to hide in their blights. Gotta give it up for the taking, bro. Come on. Like a shadow says, oh no, definitely. Head in the clouds. Really dark out at night. Okay, here it comes. Okay, hit the buddy hard. Come on out, Cletus. This uh, forerunner and what the catalyst? I think it's Bungie's good weapon, dude. I dude, this catalyst is amazing. I haven't used it quite yet, but okay, that's weird. Usually, if I uh, the, the last time when I did this, uh, I took out that champion right here. Uh, it spawned the ads. I'm not sure why it's not doing it this time. Yeah, I definitely don't see any anything. Oh, no. I, I, bro, I spoke way too early, bro. I'm dead. Ooh, mama, I'm... Whoa, 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 I, I almost died, bro. That was scary, bro. Yeah, they must have uh, fixed it in their little patch notes, because I don't remember any of it. Oh, I mean, I barely, rarely read the twab. Gonna take a little bit longer. I'll try to save as much as I can. He's a little do you take hard, bro. I don't lie.
Something to play again. Dude, I love that Dawn Chorus. Dude, I, I can't see where it... Dude, the skies are like really hard to... to shoot, man. Two of them chasing me. All Did that guy get, get some of the stuff back? All right, buddy. Come on down. Dude, come on, dude. This guy's bugging out, man. Dude, how's this guy? Dude. No way, bro. Since one does an unstoppable, get some of his uh, health back. This thing is very uh, buggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. Dude, these tracking bullets, bro. Tracking bullets are so annoying.
definitely can't see this guy. I gotta get my way up the hill, man. My vision. I wonder if it's possible to have an extra slot when you're wearing artifice armor to put your fastball. That'd be great. I'd love to use something like that. But I can't. I definitely need glasses to you. I can't see that far away. kind of blurry for me. Really? I think that's all the all the little knights. That little dude was hiding, bro. Definitely. Taking my time doing this to the fact because Bungie switched everything up. You can no longer go up the mountain. You have to basically you have to fight everybody. I'm, I'm cool with that, but it's weird how they just decided to change it. 
Dude, I'm out of heavy, bro. Oh, there we go. Where is Definitely likes to hide, bro. Got that little knight uh, behind in the bus. Gotta watch this guy. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do something like that. I think Arbalest will be really good for this gem because I could pretty much uh, break any shield. I'm gonna have to wait for my grenade. God, so hard to see you, this guy, when you shoot in a blight at you. I see right there. Arby list would be great because I now I have to wait for my grenade, which I'm fine with. I mean, but. Oh, this guy keeps pushing me every time when I get close to the stuff. It's interesting. Definitely got some uh, campers. Definitely. This guy likes to camp behind the bus. I'm just gonna have to burn him out or something. Yeah, definitely is scary. Without a doubt. It's gotta be pretty close to being toast. Definitely. Has to be, right? And this guy's just like camping in the light bubble. Like, oh, you can't get me. I think I could finish at night. Looks like it. Wait, he's just like looking at me. Like, probably saying like, go ahead, bring it. What? Dude, I love that they run grenade. What? Dude. That, that's a bummer, bro. Dude, there, there has to be a slot on uh, Echo where I can... Can I? No. If this slot can't be used for fastball, I'm going to have to look into that artifice armor. I, I got a really got some really good rules from art, artifice. Come on. Dude, can you imagine if we were able, like us guardians, we were like able to throw like uh, blights? Dude, that that would be awesome, bro. Thank you. 
Thank you for your cooperation. Come on now, Kalidus. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. He's inside the bubble. You know, for a big guy, he surely he runs really fast. Dude, I love I love this gun. Damn, that gun just like destroyed that guy. I mean, I'm not really liking the whole bounciness on the gun, but just what it did to the unstoppable. Pretty amazing. I mean, having this guy, this is something else. So 620 damage on the bullet. Did I could have sworn I had just okay. Thank you. Wait, what? Did I not destroy that first bullet? Okay, I was gonna say, I was wondering why there's like, uh, the water was so, uh, toxic. I'm a horrible camper. Yeah, I think Bungie definitely must have did something. To this lick of shadows at the end, because usually, I mean, like I said previously, uh, usually when he destroyed the first champion in the first flight, they're able to skip past all of the other champions and all the other ads going up the hill, so they fix that for some reason. But I'm still able to uh, burn and through the blight with my grenade though, that's it's kinda weird. I like this sparrow. I'm just gonna take more time and do a GM because I definitely fix some like, stuff on this GM. Usually I'm about halfway uh, to the second and uh, half of the GM, but everything's changed on this GM. I 
need some glasses. Holy moly, I can barely even see that guy. That's really hard to see. I don't want to get too close because I don't know what the they did at the end. I know if they get too close, but. Uh, Camp in and we'll get aggressive. Definitely don't want that gun. I'm gonna crash while I'm shooting. I'm gonna have to stand up now because went behind the car. Dude, I could barely see this guy. Holy moly, I need glasses. like literally behind that car what the hell's on the shot I'm bad bring it baby bring it let's go alright and we got a camper Burn, baby, burn. Dude, why is this guy camping? Yeah, I don't know if this guy. This guy is definitely... I mean, he's straight left and right. It's uh, dark every now and then. I, I like to tend to keep my distance because I'll definitely get aggressive and then I really don't want to. I'm more of a passive player when they're doing the GMs than anything. These youngsters of that, of that stream uh, that are younger than me, uh, I think they're more aggressive than anything. But me being, you know, in my 50s, I'm definitely uh, past this. Yeah, see, I got a little too close to start uh, being aggressive, so. Look at this guy, bro. I gotta like get on top of this dog. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. That should be all of them. Can I finish there? Alright. Lube and forward. Can I join and not help him with a. For the, uh, yeah, uh, once I uh, get done watching my solo, you're more than welcome. Appreciate you supping, bro. Hope you're having a wonder wonderful day. Yeah, I, uh, Catalyst with the... Uh, um, 
Forerunner is amazing. Ooh, baby. The, the only thing I don't like about this catalyst is, uh, I'm trying to pair it with, like, uh, War Mind Cells. Um, Burning Cells, uh, Rage, Wrath, and Global Rage. Uh, even when I do get, like, a headshot with my side armor and then, in, uh, I t hold down the square button, um, even though it's a solar uh, blast, you'd think that it'd like uh, command with the warm on cells, but definitely it doesn't work. I wish that it would. I have to wait for my grenade. I'm saving my super uh, for uh, um, the boss down below, so. Yeah, what separ separates me from other uh, people that stream uh, solo content, um, even though I'm older, uh, um, I just, I like to take one, one time. I like to make sure uh, every shot counts. I don't, I mean, even if I could speed and run it, I, I'd choose not to do it. I mean, I like to enjoy my uh, GM uh, while I'm doing it. I'm not out to set records or anything like that. Even if I could, I just want to have a great experience when I'm doing this GM. I'm not sure where this guy is at. Okay, he's almost done. <clears throat> I love this emote. This emote is just like amazing. As as far as the 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 forerunner with the uh, catalyst, uh, I definitely like it. I mean, like like I said, um, catalyst is great. Uh, like I said, the only thing that I can't get it to pair up with it is uh, War Mind Cells. If I could, man, this thing, this, I mean, this gun is a beast. But can you imagine if it worked with the War Mind Cells? Uh, that, that'd be great. Dude, this guy hits really hard. I don't know about you guys, but, um, dude, I am so excited for Witch Queen. I mean... Okay, see, see, I mean, the Artifice armor is really great because it has that extra mod slot. But the question is, the Artifice armor, uh, is it better than in... the the Witch Queen armor that's actually coming up. That they showed in, in the gameplay trailer. Because that Witch Queen armor looks pretty cool. The question is, does that come with Artifice armor? That's the question. Oh, I missed my grenade. Dude, I really need to get some glasses. I mean, it'd be nice to speed run, don't get me wrong, but like I said, uh, I, I, I just want to enjoy my... 
my GM. I mean, and that's all I would want to do. Dude, I love this gun. So is this uh, like a replica gun from Halo, or is this the actual gun itself from Halo? See, I, I never played none of the Halo games. i seen them on uh, YouTube, but... Ooh, that hurt. That definitely hurt. Dude, that guy, that guy literally, like, hits hard. Just for being, like, a, a small boss, you know? I always got to have shoot the loot because, I mean, the whole reason why I ran this setup is that way when I go up top and do the cheese, like whenever I run out, I just want to do enough damage uh, from my warm on cells when I'm up top. That way I could just like hammer in the way on the boss. I mean, and that's all I would want to do. I just, I just want to make sure that he can't compete with me. Little straw, man, they just like are amazing. It moves so quick. It's oh my god, dude, this guy's super fast, bro. I wonder if he's uh related to Flash or uh to Superman, the DC characters. This guy is so quick. Okay. Yeah, I try not to stick down there at that bar because that revenant uh, will push up the stairs. So I kind of uh, like want to be chill right here. I'm going to do my best to burn these guys out. I'm just chilling, chilling like a villain. So I, I love Don Course. Don Course is just it's amazing. It, it really is. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm just gonna chill right here. I mean like I said, I'm no hurry to do the GM. I, I just want to have fun. I mean, that's my whole main goal.
on the clear? Did I kill those guys already? Yeah, I did. Uh, okay. Wow. That was quick. Alright, so this uh, next upcoming part definitely going to be uh, two unstoppables uh, hanging out right here, holding them in the hands. I'm not really sure if they're dating or not, but you know, dude, these guys definitely like the group up together. My whole main goal is to just like eliminate these guys. I mean, that's all I would want to do. Oh boy, dude. Did he push me? Oh my god, bro. Dude, this guy pushed me. What the hell? Dude, they never ever pushed me like that, bro. That's the first time that they ever did that. Is it the game or do I need to turn up my settings on my on my game? Cause that's sure definitely kinda dark in here. Dude, that guy was scary, bro. Ouch, bro. Oh, he definitely didn't like getting hit like that. Is he coming? Oh, hi there, buddy. See ya. Dude, I don't know what I fear most when I'm fighting in the uh, Tekken. The unstoppables or the overloads? Or the ravenous or ravenous uh, knights? Either way, the Tekken is like pretty crazy. Definitely insane. Dude, I don't know how they can sense my presence. So the hardest part is like coming in out of this uh, little uh, like doorway because you got this one sniper there that definitely likes to hardest to go for you. Dude, it's it's so hard. I I can't tell if that is that. Do you like looking at me or?
That's a pretty good burn. I'm just gonna uh, chill. Let them quit uh, raging for a little bit. I'm throwing out the surrender flag. See, my whole view is to get this uh, sniper when he's not looking. You never want to uh, go outside the door. I mean, that's why I always 3 p because you never want to go outside the door to know on that he's hard scoping. Never, ever want to do that. That's why I always like the January the uh, free peak. Waiting for him to like rotate. Dude, he look at this guy. Definitely hard scoper, man. Okay, he's going back inside. So hopefully I can catch him when when he comes out. Look at him, how he comes out so fast. Like, I'm going to get you, bro. Not today, sir. Not today. And these snipers, uh, when you're doing jams, it's like they never miss. Dude, he knows I'm right there. There, there we go, there we go. Might have an opp opp opportunity. No. Couldn't because of the uh, uh, that dude was watching me. Dude, look how strong his uh, sniper is. That's amazing, man. I think he's still hard scoping me. See, like a little dot. Maybe. Oh my god. He almost took my head off. Look at that bullet, man. Isn't that crazy? Wonder what type of sniper he's using. And yeah, this dude's definitely hard scoping still. See, usually people they like to push out to the stairs. Oh wait, there's a sniper. Okay, I was looking at the champion. Huh. See, I'm not able to have fastball. I wish they had a, like a slot open for fastball and the fifth slot on artifice. It's like this GM is like the hardest uh, spot for me to get out of. Because this sniper just like waits for you to go outside the doorway. He's still hard scoping me. Okay, I might, I might have a chance. Alright, sniper's down. Let's go, baby.
I surrender. I come in peace. I swear. Dude, look at all those. Dude, I'm gonna headshot one of those little uh, throw, and I'm gonna throw my little frag grenade. Dude, this guy is raging hard. Definitely. I come in peace. I swear. Look at this guy. I want. I wonder what type of gun that he's using in that. Because dude, that gun definitely hits hard. Definitely. Yeah, I think my uh, grenade went through the floor. I just think it uh take this guy out. Yeah. Oh my god bro. I need to throw a well down. Okay. Alright. Baby, let's go. Did you? Uh, that's a massive explosion, bro. I mean, I mean, like I said, you could have a like a ten discipline, and as long as you get that headshot, dude, you're gonna have grenades all day, bro. Instantly. Yeah, I think I will burst through my grenade again. Okay. Right. Dude, I love this grenade, bro. That's, dude, that's like warm mine cell material, bro. Seriously. Explosion like that? Eat my grenade, bro. Usually, like, uh, like I said, as long as you're not uh, moving and too far ahead, the overload won't uh, shoot back.
Totally forgot about those snipers out of here. Right, so usually after I take the first up we're loaded down, they usually stay right here to take out the other snipers and the other camp. Really hard to see this guy because it's not time. As long as these stages are right there, why I am on just stick it a bit, that'd be wonderful. He went back in his little hole. Not too worried. And my main goal is just to take out these little snipers from a, a distance. And I'll just move forward. See that right there, good buddy. Yeah, definitely. He's a runner. This is up and down. I don't see any more snipers. Yeah, I think I can push forward now. <clears throat> All right. then okay so I'm definitely gonna have to push him with my super on this guys so I'm not sure how many of are all are in here Before I even get to those uh, two champions are on the left. Dude, I, I hate jumping, bro, what the world of. Okay, usually I'll just like stay ducked right here. I'm pouring them out. Just 
could and what's my bro. I know I could burn them quick with my heavy, but I'm not here to do that because I still got two more unstoppables left. so dark in here. Holy moly. Okay. That guy definitely does not like to get hit with uh, anything else in the out of bow. Not sure why. I mean, you got the overload of snake behind. I think this guy just like. He's ready to take me out, bro. See, this is the hardest part for me because these guys always let the group up. This guy's so scary, bro. I think I might have to uh, take the overload. Uh, Outside. Maybe. I don't like... I don't like going out on this little ledge, man. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall off. My guy moves so slow. I'm afraid that he's gonna get picked off. That's why every shot that I land, it has to be on point, on point. One small little hiccup. I go back to it, but I definitely don't want that, so I gotta make sure everything lands. Everything. As long as that overload doesn't move up. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now it's just me, me and you, big boy. Okay, what do you want to end the chest, the leg, the arm?
One last unstoppable. This uh, next part uh, definitely kind of hard because I got this knight on the stairs at the top left. That will always be forever looking at me. I always like the hard scope right here, there's a fact because you never know when that unstoppable is gonna push when that night is uh, raging. like that. Dude, that unstoppable is definitely scary. I don't like that part. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. Usually, I like to put my ear up to the wall and you can... If you listen, you could hear his footsteps go back to his original spot. That's why I always, if you ever see me put my ear up against the wall, I like to kind of tend to do that, because that way I know he's back in his little spot. really push out because those little goblins are like being aggressive dude how come us guardians can't have a blast like that dude I think we'd be really powerful if we could shoot a weapon like that dude that would be amazing Okay, that unstoppable is definitely coming. I can hear you, buddy. I swear it wasn't me shooting you in the back, I swear. Dude, this guy is so strong, bro. Okay, dude, this guy is definitely still a regiment.
How did that does that guy know I'm even coming on? Sometimes I feel like these guys have wall hacks. So hard to hear if the unstoppable was coming or not, to the fact because the night keeps on being super aggressive. All I want is a little quick peek. Come on, good buddy. Dude, that is a strong blast. It's like fireworks going off here, you know? He's right there. We didn't really get a chance to numb his pain, I guess. I'm just gonna have to wait for him to go back in this little corner. Take me to your leader. Okay, he's going back. That was so close, bro. Did I for for sure, bro? I thought I was a goner. Yeah, I don't like pushing it outside the door to the back because as long as that knight is on the stairs, I'm hamburger me. <laughs> I I mean, there's no other way to to put it. I'm toast.
see if I can get this guy's attention. It's amazing how this guy could shoot fire and void at the same time. I wonder if that's like his uh, super ability. Doesn't look like that unstoppable is pushing me, so. It's gotta be almost a goner. Come on now, Cletus. Dude, he's gonna stay right there on the corner, isn't he? Dude, he's like right there. Yeah, that was like super close, bro. <clears throat> I mean, as far as the GM, it's, it's like the hardest part right here for me. I always have, I take the longest when trying to kill it that's the last unstoppable. Definitely uh, kind of hard because I'm trying to deal with the night on the stairs. And we'll let that unstoppable will push in there. No more unstoppables. Yes. That's what I want to hear. Not that the unstoppable was like out of the picture. We got this knight on the stairs. Alrighty, taking knight is down. Okay. So I usually like to come right here. And I'll do like a little, uh, I'll 
like three peaking. Uh, definitely on the right side. Uh, definitely have uh, overload and an arrivalist night on the stairs. So I definitely want to take my time doing that. Uh, sometimes you might miss the goblin and the goblin could be on the right side with the night and the overload. But nine times out of ten, you usually can pick them off. If you have pretty good grenades, you usually can pick them off on the left of the stairs. So it looks like it's only the night in general with the overload. I gotta wait for my grenade. Usually it takes a couple grenades for me to burn the uh, revenue snipe out, but the reason why I like doing this is because I like to save my super uh, for the night that's up top. Well, good morning, buddy. How you doing, bud? All right. I wonder if they make a chest plate where you're able to have two solar grenades instead of two fusion. I'm not sure if they do make a chest piece for the warlock like that. Yeah, he definitely hit it I like that.
Oh my god, bro. These cookies are so scrumptious. <laughs> They're so soft and gooey. Trying to wait for the, the night to come down the stairs. He's definitely gotta be pretty close to. Uh, being taken out. Okay, so here's a little uh, uh, bunchy uh, joke. I heard it uh, from somebody I can't remember, but what does Oryx and Crow have in, in common? They're both taken. Get it? I don't know. I thought it was funny. <clears throat> or or was it the joke? Uh, why why doesn't orcs and crow have a girlfriend? Because they're already be, they're already taken. I guess. I think that's how the joke goes. No, oh, that dude, it's right there. Dude, he's gotta be pretty close to being history. I wish there was a way to take off that little abbreviation on my screen that says Nightfall, finding the later. Uh, yeah, I've been playing this game for years, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm sure know where to find them. I wish there was a way you can disable that. That I mean, because this is definitely blocking my screen. I don't like that. I don't know why they have it like that. Alright, taking night is down for the count. Okay, so for the next bit, uh, there's going to be an overload uh, to the right of the stairs on the balcony. Uh, definitely kind of hard to get because he likes to run up and down the stairs when trying to take him out. So you always want to kind of make sure you always want to throw a well right here. Oops. I think even though 
I'm in my well. I think he could still take me out. A lot of people will like throwing grenades, but I don't really want to see him like super aggressive. So I just kind of like uh, take my time. I don't know why my drawback uh, takes so long. Ooh, he's about to fire on me. This dude is one scary overload, bro. Okay, so this next part going up the stairs is going to be a ravenous night. It's going to be linked with a uh, couple of thrall. No, not thrall, uh, goblins. Yeah, my bad. So uh, I'm definitely going to uh, run up the stairs and instead of like trying to burn them out, I mean, I'm just going to pop my sleep around them and them really quick. But I gotta be really precise about this because when I'm taking out this guy, you, got, you definitely gotta take him out fast. Ride, ride, ride. Not bad, not bad. Okay, this next part, uh, I definitely don't like to throw my grenades uh, in, in this little room right here due to the fact that because you get startled with the wizard and, uh, or, and I definitely don't want her to actually know my presence is coming. So I just like, usually I like to just like use my arrow. I'm definitely gonna have to get a little closer. Yeah, I, I really don't want her to know that I'm actually coming. This part is so scary because you always got to be on the lookout to, to see wherever this witch could be hiding.
Oh, nice. Got heavy there. I definitely want to take my time with this wizard, uh, or witch, uh, because she could be pretty tanky. I always want to make sure when you go on a terror room like this, I always want to make sure that you're heavy or whatever type of weapon and you're in a suit to take her down. Is you always want to make sure you're prepared. Never go into a room knowing that you can't watch your corners or your gun's not reloaded or nothing like that. You always want to make sure you have everything ready to go. Usually I waited a couple of seconds before I upon entering because I did not want like one of those little throw out of dudes to be like running in and then sneak up on me. Definitely don't want that. So I used to go to the right but I find it much more safer to hang out towards uh, the left side. You always got to make sure to watch out for this flat right there. Because I'll uh, definitely push you in uh, the blight lake and you don't want that. So I always wait for the, the blight to like circulate. You know, just like go up the stairs alongside this wall. I find the best solution and option and actually go up this uh, side. That's the more safest route. Okay, so right here, uh, where I'm shooting, there's going to be two blights. One is going to pulse, and the other one is going to pulse for like really fast. So there's going to be uh, two uh, blight interactions. Well, I mean, it used to pulse twice. Oh, wow. They changed it. Okay. All right. I usually like to double check before I actually do that because he used to pull us up twice on the sled. And make sure everything is reloaded. Alright. So sometimes if you wait too long the thrall will come towards you. It's like they sense your presence. I'm not sure how they do it, but they do it though. I always like to, when going up this direction right here, I always like to keep my back up against the wall and then make sure when I'm ready to actually go in there, uh, I'll just wait on the next flight. Okay, all right. We're golden, so uh, you never want to stay in this like little hallway right here because the overload can pick you off. So 
What I usually do is run hard to the left right here. Okay, looks like I got all those guys with my grenade. Uh, there's gonna be an overload uh, up top and then this little room where I'm three peeking. Yeah, what is one straight uh, left or right uh, when we're taking this guy out? Make sure when you are taking out this overload, make sure uh, every shot counts, because if he miss, uh, he could definitely pick you up. I mean, like I said, always trip left to right on in this corner. Find the corner, no matter what corner it is. But I find this corner to be your best option. To that fact, because you can find out when he's getting ready to come out of the gate. Okay. So there's going to be like a little uh, pulsating light bomb wall, you got to watch it. Uh, there's going to be a couple thrall uh, coming up these stairs. I'll throw, usually I'll throw one grenade to pick them all up. I think I picked them all up. I could be wrong though. Just want to double check. Okay, you never want to fight the golem uh, right here, because uh, of the fact that this overload could be looking at you when they're trying to fight him. So your best bet and your safest bet is to go up there. Okay. Now I'm going to find out where this guy is at. Okay, so keep in mind about the this gun, once, even though I got the headshot, once I do like a regular reload, can you get your frag grenade back? No. Why? Because you already reloaded it. Okay, so this next part, this next encounter, a lot of people, uh, you know, go up that uh, direction uh, inside that wall. I do like it, but then again, it's kind of dangerous to the fact because you never know when that guy is going to have to throw his bombs. And that's usually why I like to come out here. So this is a, actually like your best option, uh, I mean like I said, you can either go inside, up and in between the cracks of the wall and take them out, but you can also take a chance of, of getting killed, because I mean, the way uh, my friend told me, you can go and do like this, this far wall right here and take them out, or this wall because if you're on this side you could easily see him on the door but keep in mind uh, sometimes he might get aggressive and then if he gets aggressive well even though you pop your well right here you're probably history and you don't want that i mean some people like to do it this way but i tend to i tend to like to do my own method usually i'll pop a well right here but I've seen a lot of people do it up there. I mean, it is kind of risky. 
Okay, so on this next encounter, uh, there's going to be one last overload, and then all of the champions will be history. Uh, definitely, I like the Papa Willow right here, and it's straight in and out, because you have one last overload. I mean, my main goal is just to get this guy out of the equation. That way he doesn't like regen or get aggressive on me. Even when he's trying to get aggressive, I, I, I'm i just not gonna let him get a chance to be aggressive. No way. A lot of people that do it different when they burn the overloads, they'll sell them and they'll perk out the heavy. To make the time go faster, I get that, but I try doing that uh, for some reason. Uh, I'll go to stun him, and then I'll switch to my heavy, and I'll fire a couple shots. And then by the time I switch back to my primary, he already regens, so right there it tells me I'm not quick on the trigger. I'm just going to do my primary on him. Okay, so this next encounter, where we got one last night and two are all that are gonna be in there. Alright. Alright. Special. I'm gonna wait for this guy to cool down a little, little bit. And then I'm gonna finish him off. Just waiting for my grenade to get back. Looks like maybe one more grenade. I mean, like I said, I usually like to take my time when done stuff like this. I'm no hurry to break a record. Not a speed uh, grandmaster guy. I'm just uh, very patient. Make sure you get the right shot. I mean, I'm cool. I'm cool with my time. I'm very cool with it. Well, I could finish that guy, but yeah. I'm just gonna burn him one last time with the grenade. Okay, did it is dark. Come on now. Come on, clear this. Come on. Come on, you got it. Should be done. Oh wow. Did I seriously thought I was gonna get that guy? Oh, wait. Where's the night, bro? 
Dude, he did not even come up on my screen. Maybe it did come up on my screen and it's just like I didn't see him. Did is this guy like hiding? Wait. Okay. All right. I think we could say that the night is history. But I didn't even see him. Uh. I'm up on my stand now. Oh, you, you tower, bro. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on. Come on, bro. Dude, these guys are so quick, bro. Seriously. Okay, so usually what I like to do is... I, I kind of figured that that was going to be nighttime, so... Usually I'll just hang around here until it's daylight that way I'm able to jump up where I need to go but in the meantime I guess I could uh, burn this light I don't want to break it down too much I want to get it just right. Okay, that that looks about right. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. So now I'm just going to wait till the daylight. I don't know why, but for some reason it always takes me anywhere from like Two and a half hours to like three hours to do a GM. I'm I'm cool with it as long as I get my completion. I I don't care. So now, now I'm just gonna be patient and wait to the daylight because I mean I got really bad vision at my age and I definitely want to make sure wherever I'm jumping to that I don't fall down. Okay, so uh, the reason why I chose the bottom tree is for a simple reason. If by chance, if I miss my jump, uh, I could use Phoenix Dive, Phoenix Dive to have a safe illegal land. And that's the whole reason why I, I chose that. Because if I'm falling down fast and, and I feel like I'm about ready to die, I just press a long press on my Phoenix Dive and then... And, and, I keep myself from uh, wiping. Dude, I'm dude, I'm super excited. The taking are so crazy, bro. I'm super excited to get this party started, man. Super excited. <clears throat> Okay, so, um, it was weird, uh, being a beta player like myself, uh, I didn't start doing Grandmasters up until about a year ago, um, but I could be wrong, but if I remember correctly, uh, when I'm doing this, doing any GM, I mean, I could be wrong, but. I think this is like what the first GM that switches from day to day night. I could be wrong, but this is crazy because usually they like when I do GMs, I never run an in shit like at uh, night time ever. So I mean, it, it kind of sucks because uh, I'm having to wait until daylight so I can make my move, but. Yeah, this is 
this is weird. I mean, doing a, a GM. I mean, in the, I mean, nighttime GM. I mean, that's crazy. I'm just, I'm just kicking back, like I said, just have a good time, enjoying my GM, and I'm, I'm just chilling. They do, I love the Zemo. But I, I have nobody to share my email with, dude. Look, there's like two spots right there on the chair. I'm not sure what game he's playing. Probably Destiny. But yeah, that, dude, I mean, that's, I'm super excited. I'm still super excited uh, because uh, the, what do you call it? Uh, the Artipus armor. So, okay, so here's my theory. Okay, so I know the Artipus armor is really good. It has an open slot for the fifth slot. I get that. Cool. But the question is, the Witch Queen armor that's actually coming out on uh, the 22nd of February. Um, the question is, will it also have Artipus armor? Dude, that'd be pretty uh, dope if uh, if it did. I mean, the armor looks amazing. The Witch Queen armor. I'm guessing then that the ar the Witch Queen armor does have artifacts armor. I'm guessing it does. Did it? Okay, so I'm. I, I feel like Bungie is holding in something back from the community, like it's going to be some big surprise. Uh, if I remember correctly, and people will say that, that there wasn't going to be a no new subclass, but there was going to be Void 3.0, I get that. But, I feel that Bungie is hiding something from us. I feel like there's going to be a subclass coming. And if there is going to be a subclass uh, coming in, and then that they are hiding it from us and they're keeping it secret, uh, I would have to say, if you guys read the lore books, how it talks about a corrupted, uh, like, a, like a subclass or, 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 or something like that, uh, I think if there is going to be a then the next subclass of that's coming. I'm thinking, I'm guessing the most positive, highly likely, sure, that it's probably going to be a poison subclass. Has to be. I mean, I mean, he, he got stasis. Really good. Amazing. Very powerful. So the, the only thing that I actually would be able to stop stasis would be a poison subclass, I think. You going on in crazy for real, no cap? Boss about to get melted? Yeah, I know, I can't wait. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, me too. Dude, I'm, I'm using in the, the catalyst for uh, the forerunner. You know, and like I was trying to explain to everybody else, a lot of people won't. It's the grind. Uh, you got to do the quest, and then you got to get to uh, rank 16 and actually get the catalyst, and then I went to the German city to actually finish my catalyst. Uh, this is gun, and what makes this gun so unique, a lot of people say that this is an original uh, Halo weapon. And, um, I'm not sure because I never played the Halo games, but... Uh, what makes this gun so great is as long as, long as you get a precision and final blow, uh, you could have a 10 discipline and you could still get your grenade back instantly. And it's like in infinity grenades. And you know, I mean, it's just over. I mean, like I said, you have like a 5 or 10 discipline, but as long as you're good with the sidearm, I mean, you get that final blow, that headshot, boom. You got a grenade, bro. I mean, that's what makes this gun so crazy. 
And see, the cool thing about the reason why I'm using uh, the, this bow right here, because I have shoot it to loop. If I run out of my, uh, my forerunner and I'm out of ammo, all I have to do is just look on the ground and see if there's special, boom, baby. I got my, my ammo back, and then, that, and then I throw my grenade. Hopefully, I, I could proc a warm iron cell. And because I am running a warm iron build, I got global reach. I got surprise attack, which is not a warm iron build. But, and then I'm running burning cells, uh, rage of the warm mine, and then I'm also running wrath. So, I mean, that, dude, I, I can't wait to see the damage. I can't wait. Cool take. That, that's very poggers. Wh what's a pogger? Sorry, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> dude, I, I have no idea what a pogger is. Oh, easy win? Oh, yeah. What's, what's, uh, what's FR? What is that? Okay, it's just about daylight. Not quite yet. Poggers mean very cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I appreciate everybody stopping by and you know, just checking out the channel. Um, like I, um, like I explained to everybody else, I finally got a YouTube banner uh, up. Um, my artist made it from Fiverr, but uh, very cool. Um, so, uh, dude, I'm, I'm super excited, man. I mean, I don't, I mean, a lot of people, they struggle with, with GMs. Me, uh, you know, I just take my time. Like I said, I'm not out to break a record. I just like to enjoy doing my, my GM period. Uh, as long as I finish it, you know, that, that's all I care about. I think I'm sad to say that I, I can go for this jump. Okay. I think it's still kind of daylight. Let me see. I might be able to make that jump. Yeah, it's, it's still kind of a little bit darker right there. I'm going to wait just for a little bit. Wait. Hold on. I have, to, I have to see what the floor looks like. Because if it's kind of dark, I ain't going to be able to do it. Ooh. Okay, it's definitely kind of a little bit dark. Okay. Dude, this, this jump scares me the most. I ain't gonna lie. Want to get as close as the edge as possible. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go back down because uh, when, when uh, I'm super excited to do this, but yeah, I'm terrified to do the fact because uh, it's still kind of a little bit dark and I can barely see the. Uh, where I'm landing, but like I said, if if I miss that landing, I mean, like I said, I got Phoenix to have to actually break my fall. So, I definitely need to get some glasses. Uh, I think I think I could do it now. I don't think it's gonna get any more daylight than that. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, when doing this uh, cheese, uh, you want to get a little bit close to the edge as possible. Don't want to get too close and then you fall off. And then when, when uh, you jump up, uh, just making sure that you press up on the controller. That way you uh, have like a safe little landing. Uh, definitely uh, scared. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't like heights. I, I don't. Okay, okay. Okay, so when you're right here on this little uh, ledge right here, uh, you definitely have to jump out to the right and jump up top. Because if they're not, you're going to fall, and then that's what's going to prevent me. Oh, my God, dude. I'm so scared. Dude, can you imagine if this was an MVR? So you want to run over to the right as fast as you can. Jump right here. You're good to go. Okay, a lot of people sit and say, okay, well, you're up here. How did you break the blight? Well, okay, well, I'm going to show you. So uh, what you do is you angle your gun just a little bit to the other top, and you throw your grenade. See, I was taking a little bit of damage. Hopefully the next grenade will uh, destroy it. Dude, I, dude, I mean, there's been a lot of, lot of times that I did fail this jump on the GM. So, uh, let me explain stuff. Okay, so like when the boss first comes out, uh, you want to damage him enough, and then uh, when he takes enough damage, he's going to send the first wave of knights. Uh, depending on where you're shooting, and when when that at night, uh, when he spawns in, you do not want to uh, be standing here. Uh, since I'm close to the, uh, the the right, I definitely don't want to like back backtrack to the other right, like go over here, because then I'm gonna die. So like when as soon as the the Whatever this uh, grass uh, guy uh, comes out, I definitely want to push it over to the left side. The fact because I'm gonna get melted and I, d I don't want that. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants that. Okay, well, we're just gonna burn out the bullet. Jeez, look at that. That's almost right there, man. I'm super excited. I, I really am. So I, I was wondering, I mean, I have not tried it yet, but I was wondering if you can run across there and just like be able to take him out from right there. I'm, I'm not sure that you could be able to, then again, I could be wrong, but I would love for somebody to make up a video where they're actually, when they're actually doing on the cheese, they're ready to just take it out the boss from right there, or right there. Or hell, you know, I mean, it'd be even pretty cool if uh, if you're, you're able to shoot from like right there and maybe and just twing in the cracks. Or or like even in like where you're like able to shoot from like right there. But I don't think that the, the game would let you even go up that high. Okay, hopefully this is the last burn. Okay, we, we got one more burn. Dude, I could barely see that dot. Yeah, dude, it's, it's like they're not there. Yeah, probably one more grenade. So I was super tired one night, and I could have sw sworn that I had a really good armor for this John course, but... <laughs> Dude, what was I thinking, dude? Look at the number, 63. And I masterworked it. Dude, I, I had no idea why I did that. That was a horrible mistake. <clears throat> um, okay, so I guess we're just waiting patiently.
Dude, if this one was actually real alive, would I skydive off this building to go down below? Oh, hell no. Dude, I'm afraid to hide, bro. Okay. So we're gonna burn the boss right away. You never want to shoot in the same spot more than once because of fact because the knight can pick up on you and you definitely don't want that. Always rotate left up to right. The reason why I like that on course is for a simple run like that because it has a long time burn effect. Dude, it's still burning. Holy moly, bro. Look at that damage. Dude, I love... Oh my god, dude. Dude, that's crazy damage. Dude, that's insane, right? I mean, dude, it just like burns for seconds. I know that that night is somewhere. Question is, where is it, yeah? Okay, there's nobody in the middle. I'm waiting for the dude to come in the middle a little bit. Unless the night hasn't come out yet, but I mean it's been a while since they even. In Dude, this GM. Maybe the night hasn't come out yet. Dude, where is this guy at, bro? Oh, he's right there. I always like to keep rotating and never stay in the spot more than once. Okay, so the night is right there. That's amazing the damage for what, what it's doing. It really is. So my main goal is I gotta be on top of my A game because uh, I need to figure out where this knight is shooting in. So I shoot it into the left. I don't, I don't want Okay, it looks like that knight is like right there to the other right. He's shooting at the left, but I don't think he's seeing me when I was to the right. So my main goal is, before I even start doing the damage on the boss, I mean I did damage on him, but my main goal is to take that knight out of the equation. 
you have to place that not out. A lot of people do a game for it, but I just need to figure out where this uh, little clown is. Okay, he's right there. Oh, there Okay, a taken a night it is gone. I mean, there is one more taken night, but he's not really gonna bother me. Do the fact because he went on his little pedestal. Okay, now, now that uh, the night is not gonna hurt with me, now I'm just gonna start doing damage to the boss as well. I mean, like I said, you never want to stay in the same spot uh, twice, wherever you're taking uh, the boss. Never want to ever want to. Look at that damage. Burn, baby, baby, burn. Look at that damage. Holy moly. I got heavy for our days. Did I say what one more stuff? I don't think I can get it. Uh, it's not to the left. Can't get it. Well, that's right there. So even though I see the knight there, I'm not gonna antagonize the. I'm not not gonna make it the first move. Because if I do an antagonize him, he is gonna shoot up here, and I, I definitely don't want that. I mean, he may look at me, but. Nine times out of ten, he's not gonna shoot you due to the fact because you didn't engage with him. So now I'm pretty much free and the clear. I can pretty much do whatever I want. Hey, come on, come on, Clitter. I'm waiting for this guy to like go out in the middle. Come on. Come on. Okay. Dude. I gotta watch where I'm jumping because the uh, knight is looking up at me. And I definitely don't want him to catch me out. I mean, like I said, you don't want to stand in the same place. Even though the knights, I mean, they, they can still uh, hit me, but I'm really not worried about that.
Bring it, baby, bring it. I love that explosion. This is such a good gun, bro. I mean, it really is. I mean, like I said, Never shooting in the same uh, spot twice, like I, like I did. <clears throat> I haven't seen any Walmart cells. I mean, I have seen Walmart cells, but I wasn't able to get to them. Still got that burn in there, but... I know I can finish this guy with my super, but the the whole ordeal is for me to. I want to finish this guy with uh, my regular gun. Alright, we got 42. Okay, alright. Got 68, okay. Good to go, good to go, good to go. Yeah, I love this gun, bro. Uh, I mean, it does bounce, but I I just love it. Oh yeah, machine gun. Come on, man. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. G, double G. Not bad for a 50 year old man. Uh, I mean, I do take a little bit of time uh, completing my uh, GM, but it's always platinum. There might be a couple of runs that I fail a couple of times, but uh, you know, in the end, uh, was it worth it? Yeah, it was. Why? Because I did something that most people can't do. And, um, I'm pretty proud of myself at being 50. Uh, definitely excited. Because like, like I said, a lot of people struggle when they do GMs. And me, the way I look at it, you know, the way I try to uh, motivate others. Uh, if you have patience, if you have the right bill, the right subclass to white weapons, uh, do I believe beating a GM? or any type of solo content um, is worth it. Yeah, I do, because uh, if you fit that category, uh, definitely anything's possible. But yeah, dude, I'm, I'm super excited. GG, yeah, you're right, GG. So, 
Okay, uh, I did Forerunner. So I'm thinking about maybe doing Arby list, maybe?